Okay, we are at the coolest site ever. So we came a long way to see this. Among the many things we're gonna be looking at, this is one that's a bucket list item for geologists. Why? Because this particular layer represents a boundary marker that below the layer that kind of looks like a chert, it's a grayish white color. That represents everything below it in the rocks that are Cretaceous in age contain what we call avian and non-avian dinosaurs. So both birds and reptiles like dinosaurs. But above that layer, non-avian dinosaur fossils are not found anywhere in the world. At least we know of yet. <laughs> and I doubt we'll see that anywhere because it's not been found. So why is this so significant? This layer is iridium. You'll see how that's spelled on your screen. Iridium is a rare earth element, and we're talking like trace concentrations of it. Iridium is actually a valuable uh, type of ore slash metal rare earth element, but we have such a high concentration of it that it can occur naturally, either from a volcano from inside the earth where an eruption happens, which is one hypothesis for what this layer is, but this much would even come from a volcano it would come from something like a meteorite that's extraterrestrial. And indeed, a six mile wide meteor struck the Earth back around 66 to 65 million years ago at the conclusion of the Cretaceous period. What lived back then? Some of our favorite dinosaurs like Triceratops, uh, Pachycephalosaurus, things like Stegosaurus, things like Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. Those fossils exist in large quantities below the iridium layer, but cease to exist above it. That is an enormously important geologic item for you to know, because this iridium layer is found in concentrations in different parts of the world, because the, what we call the KT boundary now, the KPG, which stands for Cretaceous Paleogene, because the tertiary has since been renamed tertiary to paleogene and neogene. It actually has two periods now. And the significance of this is that we don't have these fossils after that. You might notice the rocks seem very charred. There is a reason for that because we had forest fires, large scale fires as the iridium uh, bearing meteorite struck the earth in Mexico in Chicxulub, which is a crater. Most of it's buried and some of, a lot of it's underwater in the ocean. And it has been found by uh, a group of guys. And these guys were able to prove with some coring and other types of technology at the time that this crater did indeed match up to this particular time in geologic past. This is an incredible place because it's very rare to see this on accessible lands. And we specifically had to get very intentional directions to find this location. And it is part of the state park. We're just right down from where the wildlife viewing area is. So again, this layer that is so important, I can't underscore why we think it's important for you to know about because it, it does represent one of the most historically significant events in geologic time in terms of mass extinctions. Those mass extinctions open the door for mammals to kind of take the places of reptiles and that's how we entered into the age of the mammals during the Cenozoic era. More to come. See you at the next stop. Bye.